Hi, this is Phil Lilly, Lilly's Landing Resort, Marina, Lake Taney Como. Going to do one cast. It's late, Thursday on the 8th of June. <coughs> um, the fishing's really been good. They were running two units this morning. Lake was down about 18 inches here. Uh, really kind of surprised us a little bit. And I told Curtis that uh, when he lets boats out when the water's low like that, he didn't really know that those cars are up at Fall Creek. And uh, there's one out in the middle of the lake that <clears throat> you drop the water a foot 18 inches and uh, that car <laughs> probably comes into play. So, um, you know, if you're going to be on the lake and you might check and see what the water level is. It, you know, just, just be careful when you're up around Fall Creek because uh, there's no, seven cars up there. And uh, uh, most of them are real close to the dock or way over on the right, but there's one out there in the center that'll, that's going to be interesting uh, when the water really gets low, like one or two units. Um, not many reports today. A uh, gentleman just told me the the big fish came out here in the last hour of the day. Uh, they're, I assume, fishing up in the trophy area. And he told me he lost a big brown the other day on a, on a white jig. Um, let's see. Dwayne had a trip yesterday uh, with some beginner fly fishermen. And um, he took them up, up in the trophy area and used uh, a 32nd or 16th ounce white jig under a float and he said they crushed them, his words. Caught a lot of fish. Um, he wanted, they wanted to catch some, or keep some fish, so they dropped down below Fall Creek and they fished um, a pink power worm under a float and he said he crushed them. Um, he likes that word, crush, if you didn't know that. Anyhow, <clears throat> so fishing's really been good. Um, I took a, or I'm sorry, me and Dwayne took a, a crew out from the Discovery Channel today, and they were here shooting an episode of um, Homestead Rescue. Homestead Rescue, they're, they're, they're in their second season, and um, they wanted to film these two guys fishing and um, trying to catch some crawdads. So we took them down to Bull Creek. First we took them way up in the creek and um, shot some footage up there and then we boated them down to Bull Creek and went way up as far as we could go and they caught some bluegill, caught a few small bass, but I'd set, um, me and Ryan set a couple of crawdad traps out last night and they caught a couple of crawdads and set some limb lines out, but all that did was um, <clears throat> lost one line and the bait got robbed on the other so I'm not real good about setting limb lines I'm not never done it really before so anyhow that was fun and uh, they said the episode probably will run next October um, so we'll see we weren't on camera at all we were, we just helped with logistics and trying to get them on fish so Anyhow, I'm going to throw a black. It's an eighth ounce black and olive jig. That's why it's so late, because we got in so late from Bull Creek. Looks like they're running three units. Ooh, threw it upstream a long ways. Maybe a little less than three units. I see some wet spots on the bank over there. Still pretty good current. Hopefully my audio is working. We haven't had a chance to really check it out, figure out what's wrong with it. Maybe just a loose connection. <clears throat> As we were going down, about two o'clock we passed uh, the boat ramp there at the treatment plant and the stocking boat was there dumping fish in. So if you're uh, 
you're here and want to catch some fish, just go on down to below the landing. If you see a bunch of fish surfacing, that's that's your key. That's you want to stop and cast something in the middle of those fish. They generally will stay together for quite a few days, start swimming up, and they'll be close to the surface sometimes. Yeah. They're catching fish like crazy right out here. We cannot catch them throwing off the dock on one cast. See you tomorrow. Thanks for watching.